being an artist is um, the way I breathe, <laughs> really. I mean, uh, I've never stopped, um, even when I had my kids and I couldn't be in the studio as much. I always needed to make things because otherwise I think I would have gone a little crazy. <laughs> And um, it's just when when I'm in the zone in here, life is suspended, time is suspended. I'm in kind of in another world. If I couldn't enter that world every day, um, I, I wouldn't be myself. In terms of depicting the human figure, um, in a way, because I'm working from photographs, it's kind of already dictated to me. I used to work with whole figures and have a whole person. I've now started to kind of deconstruct the photographs and hide um, the faces in some cases. In other cases, just keep small fragments of the person. Um, part of the series the, that I did for the show called Exposed. The idea too was that um, in these old photographs, obviously we just sort of see the very proper outer layer <laughs> of each person. I was sort of exploring the idea of um, sort of the private self. So the things that we wish for ourselves, so the, the dreams that we have, are sort of true identities as opposed to the ones that are imposed on us or the ones that are sort of viewable in the sort of public sphere. I mean, it was, a, it was a play on words, really, when I put exposing, because it wasn't just the characters that were exposed, but I was exposing parts of the, the wood. So it was kind of this idea of showing the kind of underlayers of things. We, as parents, expect from our children, or hope for our children, because I'm using Victorian-era photographs, um, I, I like to sort of think of the expectations that existed then, which, in a way, have not necessarily changed all that much.